home with fruits and oranges brought to you by After School All Stars Hawaii. My name is Nishina and I am a program leader at Wailu All Stars. In today's episode, we'll be making homemade uncrustables. And if you guys don't know what that is, it's basically a peanut butter jelly sandwich squished together without any crust. Um, this is a very easy to go lunch and a great after school snack. So the supplies you'll be needing for today's activity is bread, I have white bread, but you can use any trusted bread. Um, jelly, again, any choice, that'd be great. Peanut butter, and a cup which we're going to be using to mold the bread and making it into the famous uncrustable shape. And I have a spoon to spread my uh, condiments, and a fork to indent the sides of the bread to get the ripples around the crystal. Before we get started, I'm going to wash my hands as you guys should all be doing too, so I'll be right back. Okay, now we can start. So, first thing you're going to do is open up your bread. And you're going to take two slices. Get your cup, flip it over, and then right in the middle, you kind of just want the uh, white part because obviously it's uncrustable, so you don't want any of the crust. This, let me move around, put some pressure, and then hopefully this part will come down. Not a perfect one. We have a little circle. Do the exact same thing as other sides. Like this. And now, yeah, these are your two slices of bread. Okay. Okay, now we're going to put peanut butter on one side. And you kind of want to just make sure it's in the middle of it, not really touching the end, because you still have to seal, seal these two breads together. But put a generous amount as much as you want. And of course, you don't have to be using peanut butter. There's all types of different nut butters, like almond or cashew. Or you don't have to use peanut butter at all. You can just use jelly. They're in the middle. Different types of jelly down there. There's strawberry jelly, guava jelly. And then I'm just gonna be using the same spoon. And you could put actually anything in this type of sandwich. Nutella, um, you know, these different flavors, anything, it's your sandwich, okay? So now, I'm going to put these two slices of bread together, kind of push them down, okay? And now, we're going to get your fork, and on the sides right here, you're kind of making a crust, but it's not really a crust, it's just making ripples to see them all together, okay? So I'm just going to push down right on the tip of it. That just seals it all together. And then you can place this in a Ziploc or on the go snacks or keep them in the freezer. They're really easy to freeze and keep right there. And these um, slices of bread to the crust of the bread, you don't want to waste them. Things you can do with it, you want to make it into a bread pudding or you can dip it in egg, make French toast, so slices. So nothing goes to waste. But yeah, it's pretty simple. This is it. You're uncrustable. Share with your friends. You saw how easy that was to make. Make for your family. Um, yeah, put it in the freezer and enjoy our pretend. So another thing you can do with this uncrustable is you can make it into a delicious dessert. 
you can freeze it and throw it in the fryer. And once that's golden brown, you can roll it in cinnamon sugar, add some ice cream, whipped cream, and chocolate syrup or anything. So there's a lot of things you can do with this. It's just not a simple uh, peanut butter jelly sandwich. So yeah, have fun with it. And of course, send us a picture of your impossible. Here I'm grabbing the Uncrustable that I kept in the freezer overnight. In the three bowls, I have eggs, flour, and cinnamon sugar. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab one of my sandwiches and drench it in flour. And this allows the egg to stick um, better on it. After that's done, I'm going to coat it in eggs now. And then one more time in flour. Make sure you coat all sides of the sandwiches so it's evenly fried. And once that's done, you're going to just repeat the steps with the other sandwich. In a pan with some oil, put it on a medium-high heat. After a few minutes to see if my oil is hot enough, I just dipped one of my sandwiches and saw some bubbles. Now I'm going to carefully put my sandwiches in. And I'm going to just wait a minute for them to fry up. But be sure to stay close and check um, if they're browning up real nice. After about 30 seconds, I'm going to flip them over. Before I take my sandwiches out, I place a paper towel on top of my plate so I can get all of the excess oil out. When you take them out, shake it a little so you can get some of that oil out, but be careful because you're working with hot oil. Don't forget to turn off your stove and move your pan away from the hot surface. Now you're going to coat your sandwiches in cinnamon sugar. But again, you don't have to do this. This is your sandwich. So if you want to put some chocolate syrup on it or whatever you guys want to do, dress it up to your liking. And that's how you make an uncrustable dessert, and I hope you guys give it a try. Thanks for watching, and be a part of our After School Austin's Hawaii Ohana. If you're joining us on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe, follow, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any, any of our videos. Please also follow All Stars Hawaii on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok to connect with us. We hope you share this video or leave us a comment about what you like and what you want to see next. Bye!